Hi, I'm Ross Hennessy from LeatherTech and uh, today I'm going to restore this leather couch here. Uh, what's happened is that the top coat has come off this brown two coat um, leather suite of furniture and what we're going to do is clean it back, make sure all the grease, oil, dirt and all that is removed from the leather surface and then mix up a colour to match the original colour along here where it hasn't been worn, reapply that, seal it in with a finish, match up the sheen, the fire protector and you've got a whole new surface in your couch. Uh, it's the same process that's used in factories for colouring leather, so it's a very permanent type of fix. And I'm just going to um, show you through the steps. I'm going to start off cleaning the leather couch with this Ultra Leather Shampoo. This is a foam-based, water-based um, leather cleaner, and you basically apply it onto your leather couch, as I'll show you now. And um, that is basically the, the easiest and best way of cleaning all the, the dirt and surface grime off your leather surface. So all you need to do to clean your leather surface is firstly have the damp cloth, bucket of water, and first thing you're going to wet the surface. You're going to need one of these little dish scrubs, these are very handy for flicking out the dirt. You're not going to be applying much pressure with this, with this thing, it's really just to agitate your foam cleaner into the surface. So spray on your pump foam cleaner, just get it going. As you can see, you need to use very little of the product on, on the leather surface, as it's, it's a quite a strong product. And this process just takes a few minutes agitating it in in a circular motion. I'm using no pressure here on the, on the brush. It's merely just to get the product in. Now the top surface on this leather couch is very badly damaged, so some of it's going to come off in cleaning. And that means all the loose, the loose leather pigment that's on top of here is going to be removed. So I've got a good surface then to work with when I'm recolouring the couch. And then wipe it off. And you can see quite a lot of that top colours come off there. If you find this is happening to you at home when you're cleaning your couch, um, it's best to stop. This is happening because this is a restoration and this top coat is already damaged and very loose so it's coming off. The only way to repair that is to recolour the top coat which I'm going to show you now as we go through this video. So that's that surface clean. It's going to have an alcohol cleaner on there as well to take away any grease and, uh, and then it's prepped and ready for recolouring. Now, so I've just cleaned back the whole leather surface here of the couch and you can see quite a lot of the top coat has come off. That's completely normal as the top coat was not very well um, stuck onto the leather. So if this is happening when you're at home, it's best to stop and give us a call and it's more of a restoration job than a cleaning job. So cleaning a couch, this shouldn't happen. You shouldn't have colour coming off a couch when you're cleaning it. If it does, you've got a problem and you need to, need to have it restored. It'll only just deteriorate over time and eventually you'll end up with this type of couch. So it's best to um, keep your couch clean, keep it protected. It's going to stop this problem from happening. Okay, so I've got my colour matched up here, which fits the, the top coat of this couch. Um, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to apply a few layers onto it first to get a base coat and then use a few different techniques to give the mottling effect, which will match in with the rest of the couch. So you get a nice um, all over finish. Uh, with the colour, it's just a matter of um, applying it on with, with the same other cloth, just like this. Um, it's always good to keep the cloth very wet, so I always have a, a bucket of water just here. So if the cloth's very wet, you're getting a very thin layer of colour on. As soon as you've applied it and you feel that it's a nice even coat, make sure you get into the seams, 
Just use a hair dryer. And you dry that off like that. Now this is going to take quite a lot of coat to get this up to a level where it's dark enough and then it's going to be a mottled effect and so it's going to take a bit of time to do that. Okay. That's the colouring part of the restoration process finished now. Um, it took a couple of layers to build up the colours, different colour, different tones, so we used the mottling uh, effect to try and replicate the original colour. Um, what's left to do now is just put a, a finish onto this which matches up the sheen of the rest of the couch. So it's a little bit shiny at the moment. Uh, we'll dull it down with a matte finish and then apply a protector and, and that's it.